Kayla Lemieux is back. So it's a man in Canadian shop class. He's teaching shop. Remember your shop teacher? Nine times out of 10, it's a dude. And it's like a grizzly dude. And um, it's typically like a non-PC dude. He's a tool man. You know, it's like, what? what? Okay, not Kayla. Kayla is a man who decides to go by Kayla and wear these enormous, giant, (laughs) prosthetic breasts with fake nipples that are so in your face with a ridiculous wig. I mean, like, other than these enormous breasts, Kayla's not even trying to look female because... Look at the face. I'm sorry, but like there's no effort to look feminine at all other than the weird hair and those enormous breasts. Kayla, in like an amazing piece of journalism, um, first gave an interview to the New York Post, which, I mean, the Post should be getting a Pulitzer Prize for this. (laughs) This is a few months back, uh, where Kayla told the Post that Kayla is not transgender, but was instead born intersex. And in response to which I say... Don't believe Kayla is intersex. I think Kayla's a full dude working out Kayla's sexual fantasies in front of these children. And that the New York Post got the statement from Kayla that Kayla suffers allegedly from a condition known as gigantomastia. Gigantomastia, guys. I mean, I guess Pamela Anderson caught it in part. Um, (laughs) Dolly Parton caught it in part. Oh wait, it's not prosthetic breasts. It's natural breasts that just grow and grow and grow and grow, despite your best wishes that they would stop. It's a lie. We know it's a lie because the brilliant journalists at Rebel News, our friends up in Canada, tracked down Kayla, who, look, if Kayla wants to do this in Kayla's spare time, it's really none of my business. It's weird, and I wouldn't want Kayla around my kids. But the the problem is Kayla's been doing this in front of kids, in front of minors, in shop class. I mean, one false move and one of those breasts is gone on that saw. Um, No child needs to be subjected to that or to Kayla's sexual fetish. Rebel News found Kayla while dressed as a man, which is what Kayla is, without Kayla's totally natural breasts in a clip I can't get enough of. This is from a couple months ago. Watch. Where are your breasts? Where are your breasts? Why are you dressing inappropriately in front of children? Can you believe it, folks? Like a cornered rat, he ran for the hills. He didn't even have the guts to come back to his car. He's abandoned it here. He called an Uber, but did you notice? No breasts. But Lemieux, I thought you told the world via the New York Post and the Toronto Sun that those were real mammary glands. Rebel News, I love you. I love you, Rebel News. Good job, good job. So the reason all this is relevant is because if Kayla's not trans uh, and not a woman with gigantomastia, Kayla's sick. Kayla's one sick effer. This is Kayla. It's a dude. There's no boobs. It's a man. And Kayla's clearly working out, as I said, a sexual fetish in, in front of minors. I think Kayla should be fired. I don't think Kayla should be employed at any school. What happened instead was they made it into a dress code controversy where the parents were upset. These are Canadians. They're very soft on the woke stuff. You know, like even the ones who are on our side are afraid. And so they went in and said, there should be a dress code. Why is this guy wearing mini skirts and enormous fake boobs and nipples in front of our kids? So that was the big push. Change the dress code so that no teacher can do this. They put Kayla on leave while they like investigated whether they were going to change the dress code. Guess what happened? Nothing. They were, I don't say the P word. That's where I draw the line on my swearing. But they were P words. They would not change the dress code. (laughs) And they left it intact such that Kayla could return potentially to the classroom wearing all that same stuff. Well, Kayla instead decided to move to another school district where Kayla has been hired to teach full-time there with the same school board presiding over Kayla's new employer. And guess what else? Here's the last bit, and then I'll let you guys have it. They have announced to the new parent body that as a result of hiring Kayla, the school knows it's going to have to, quote, boost security. That as a result of Lemieux's gender expression becoming the subject of public attention, uh, the, the, they've, that they expect this, you know, blowback, and that the high school has a responsibility to uphold individual, individual rights, treat everyone with dignity and respect, and that now— They need new safety precautions. 
All the students have to enter and exit the building using assigned doors at entry and dismissal. They have to lock exterior doors during school hours using only the front main doors during school hours. They, uh, the parents must email or call before coming to the school if they ever wish to speak to an employee. All exterior lock doors must be locked during school hours. You can only use blah, 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 blah. Okay, going on. So the solution is fortify the school against, not like a potential shooter necessarily, but an angry parent who doesn't want this shit playing out in front of their kid? I can't. I can't. Dave, would you like to take it? Yeah, listen, um, this is all part of a ritual humiliation uh, that the left has been using to try to shove the trans agenda down people's throats. There was a time in 2015 or 2016 when most conservatives, myself included, we're willing to have a reasonable conversation about accommodation, right? I always thought the bathroom issue, which was the first one that kicked off, was kind of silly because there, there are ways around that, right? But locker rooms are a different thing. Prisons are a different thing. Shelters are a different thing. We were prepared to try to have these conversations. Instead, the left said, no, you're not allowed to have this conversation. To, to even have this conversation is bigotry. You're going to look at Leah Thomas towering over female swimmers and you're going to accept that that is perfectly normal you're going to look at this insane person with gigantic fake breasts teaching children and you are going to say that is perfectly normal what's the next step what's the next thing that we're supposed to accept is perfectly normal you know, two plus two isn't five and I'm, I'm finished with these people. I mean, I'm not willing right now to have this conversation about accommodation until we start having a conversation about the basic truth. Stop abusing our children. I'll show you what the next mm -hmm. step is. I take you to Disneyland via libs of TikTok who posted the latest bibbity bobbity boop boutique. Uh, they, they got rid of fairy godmothers uh, like in training. Now it has to be their apprentice because... Well, I'll show you why. This is why. Look, you're going to have dudes like these guys. It's an obvious dude. An obvious dude in a woman's like fairy princess dress. We saw this a couple months ago. That now they're more. These are two new ones. Huge men. They happen to be large size guys in dresses at the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boop Boutique where parents are just trying to enjoy the Magic Kingdom. Whether it's Disneyland or Disney World, I'm not sure, but it was, uh, I think it was Disneyland, according to Libs of TikTok. That's the next step. So, Stu, we got to deal. We're just sending our kids to school. They're, just, they're going to the shop. We're supposed to make a little, little, I made a little birdhouse. Most of us made like a shelf. My kid Yates, he made a chair. Uh, we went to Disney. My daughter Yardley got her hair done. Look at this guy's got facial hair. Um, this is what we have to deal with. It really is incredible. I, I took my kids to Disney right before COVID, and I'm so gl so glad. I remember thinking after COVID started, geez, I'm glad we didn't wait a few months because who knows when it's going to open up again. And instead, now it's like they're never going back there. Good luck right. when you're in 18 going back to that place if if that's what you want to do on your own dime. Bibbidi bobbidi bye <laughs> bye. It's it's incredible to look at this. I mean, like dave pointed out you know the accommodations point and i think that's what americans want you know like the the polling on gay rights changed uh, over a long period of time and i think the, re the reason that was successful with uh with conservatives was they, they said look you know you're doing your own thing and you want to do your own thing you do your own thing and we'll do our own thing and that's that's all we have to do we're not involved in your decision you want to make a decision that's different you live a different lifestyle okay we can deal with that we kind of have that live and let live mentality here in the united states generally um, this is the trans thing is totally different because you're not asking us you're you're asking us to do something different. You're asking us to participate in something that is untrue. You're asking us to say actually and unwell. No, she is unwell, right? Um, you're asking us to confirm that. You're asking us to participate in a lie. That's a really heavy ask of a person who has any conscience. You're, you're asking us to go along with something that we know to be untrue. And you look at these situations with, around. Kids, I don't know what the situation with is with this one particular uh, teacher, because you know you, there's two people this could be. It could be just some psychopath who just wants to get you know their rocks off in front of kids, and it could be someone who's severely mentally ill. Like I, I don't even know. Same. When she's saying like that's not me. Without a difference. Yeah, I, yeah. I suppose you're right. Um, when she's saying that's not me, she may think she's a totally different person. I have, I have no idea, but when he. we can all look at, he, sorry, he, we can all look at this and laugh at it at some level because of how ridiculous the fake boobs are. 
But every part of the argument that this teacher makes is consistent with what the left is saying is reality. When he says he's a woman and should be respected for his fake boobs because he is saying she's a woman, that decision he has made to identify as something else is something that everybody on television is telling us we should confirm and agree with. Like, we're supposed to participate in this madness. I'll tell you who the unsung heroes of COVID are. Of course, the frontline workers. But what about those business owners who hung in there and paid their employees? If you stayed open and paid your people, you could be eligible for up to $26,000 per employee at covidtaxrelief.org. $26,000 per employee. This is not a loan. You don't have to pay it back. These are government funds uh, that are available right now. All types of businesses, including nonprofits and churches, can be eligible, but you need to apply now because Congress may pull the funds. COVIDtaxrelief.org has helped tens of thousands of businesses just like yours, and they have secured over $500 million. Unlike others, they charge nothing up front. They do all the work and share a percentage of the cash they get you. You did the tough thing for your employees during COVID. Now let COVIDtaxrelief.org help you get up to $26,000 per employee. Visit COVIDtaxrelief.org, COVIDtaxrelief.org, COVIDtaxrelief.org. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.